Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This is going to be a SummerSlam uh, party faction feud prep. Um, so there's a lot going on this feud. Depending on what your faction does, it might make a difference on what roster you're going to run. So I'm going to kind of do two breakdowns. One for going for strictly for the bonus matches for your faction and one for going for points. There's going to be two contests running. There's the faction one for Godfather. Um, if you're a faction leader, uh, just my opinion, take it for what it's worth. Uh, with the, the points available, you, if everyone does their part in your faction, you're going to get about... Uh, not about if everyone did it you'd get 8.25 million faction points from feud so that means when feud starts you should be very very close to or higher than 9.75 million right now at this time uh, it doesn't really look like maybe one faction will be there maybe two so it's hard to say if your faction does decide to go for it I'll cover that kind of that that breakdown second uh, first, I'm just going to kind of cover the lane bonuses like a normal feud prep video that I do, who might be good, perks that might be good, and all that kind of stuff. So getting into it, I would say the middle row is the one most people will be able to fill. Um, column and row breaks do more damage in there. Um, there is a column and row break perk. Uh, so that one would not be a bad perk to grab. It's also, uh, perk-wise, relatively inexpensive. I will double check, but I believe it's right around the 1 million mark um, to unlock that. Uh, let's see if I can pull this up. Should have been more prepared there, I suppose. Yes. Right, one million plus. Well, it's actually nine hundred and forty-five thousand to max that perk, and then the two hundred and fifty thousand to unlock the perk slot. So, as far as perks go, relatively inexpensive. So, if the middle row is the one you're going with, uh, I would highly consider that. Assuming you put guys in there that can take advantage of that, which we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm going to start with the middle row because I do think that's the one that most of you will be able to fill. Uh, I believe at this time, three is the minimum you can bring. Now, like a lot of the feud prep videos, you'll see often I suggest taking a smaller roster maybe than you're used to. Um, one that you can win with multiple guys because there's a big bonus for winning with different guys each battle. Um and that sort of thing. If you want to do kind of a hybrid, which is what I'm planning on doing, uh, bring I'm bringing Vince to get wins for the faction. Once I know my feud score is going to get the solo one, no problem. I'm going to run a, the roster I show you, um, I show you second. Um, but I do think doing a hybrid, having a, your Vince there, if he's your best, IRS, if he's your best, um, or million dollar man to clean up any weaker guys fodder that kind of stuff is a, is a solid plan um, like I said I believe three is the minimum required superstars so you could just fill the middle row as normal your roster that you bring in should reflect the perks you take and any guy you bring you should have all of the optimal trainers on uh, all the time when you're feuding Watch your partners. If you're consistently slower, you need to change something. Don't be that guy slowing your teammates down. Look at your scores. If you hit the stats button, you can see how many points you're getting, how many points your opponent's getting. If your score is consistently lower, again, you're doing it wrong. You're giving up more points than you're making for your faction, so overall you're hurting it. These are things you need to pay attention to if you want to be a good feuder. Um, so go in with a, a roster appropriate for having all the best trainers and also and more importantly all like perks so if you fill all the I could fill every one of these lanes but if I go in with like a hundred thousand roster uh, 
80,000 roster, I'm going to face guys with max perks, completely decked out, strapped, the whole nine yards. So a lot of those, the guys in that range buy almost every perk. So uh, you're talking like 10 to 15 million spent on perks. And I can't combat that. So I have no interest in doing that. That's zero fun for me. Um, so that being said, let's take a look at some of the guys you could run with row breaks. So I think right out the gate you will see a lot of X-Pac in this slot and a lot of six. Both take advantage of the, the row break. Um, you may see some million dollar man for those bonus points because this if you're running just this one, he would be your, your bonus guy. Um, in the NWO slot, you're going to see more um, potential row break guys. Not only can you still use um, six, you will see Hall and Nash, which take big advantage of that. Um, also, big sexy Kevin Nash. Um, and you might see some million dollar man in the NWO slot as well. But those those guys are the ones that are going to take advantage of those rows and columns. Your, your Scott Halls, your Kevin Nashes, your big sexies, that kind of thing. And then Hall of Fame is mostly going to be Booker T that you're going to see. You might see some, um, you know, some of the other ones. But really, Booker T is the one you're probably going to see the most. So that middle lane is, is what you're likely to uh, see be facing. Um, if you can't fill one of these lanes, these lanes are very strong bonuses. I highly suggest going in with no more than three and not a big roster. You are going to have a miserable feud uh, if you do. Uh, so that's kind of that one. Um, I think, oh, also, I think uh, NWO, Savage, um, Hall, Nash, and Big Sexy are going to be the big ones for this one that really take advantage of it. It's also really good for X Pac. Um, as well not bad for six uh, so you'll be seeing that if you're running this row you probably should get the um, the row and column break perk uh, it's one million it's gonna moves that generate column breaks are gonna make two more row breaks are gonna make two more and your gem critical damage is gonna be doubled so increased by a hundred percent so if you're running, if that's your lane, I would say for 1 million coin, absolutely worth it to get that. I'm not getting that one. Um, I'm not going to run the middle lane. So to me, it's not worth it. Um, so bottom lane is the one I'm running. I don't always like going four when the minimum's three. But my roster, well, well big isn't huge. And my thought process here is... I have three guys that are turn one, even if they have MP down. I'm not spending for the multiply gem perks. It's the most expensive perk to unlock it fully and get the MP down. You're talking about 3.75 million coins, which is a lot of coin. Um, the second rank of that, you're still spending 2.2 million, and the first rank, 1.2 million. Very expensive, and it only works on your multiply gem guys. Yeah, if I, the most expensive perk I buy is the MP perk, which is 3.5 million to unlock, but it helps every guy I take. So, um, you know, if you're if you're going in with a 80, 100, 90 thousand, 100 thousand strength roster, you're filling all these lanes. You pretty much need the multi gem thing, um, and you should go with that perk uh, if you're going to do that. I have no interest in doing that or spending that kind of coin. So hard pass for me. But this is still a super strong um, lane bonus. I don't think Andrade is going to need the multi gems. So if someone does have um, MP down, he's still turn one. My cane with gear is still turn one. And Sako is still turn one with the bleeds. So um, not super worried about it. Basically, I want to have guys to counter or make sure they can they can they can win. So Kane has class advantage over any acros and he's got fury gems, so he's going to do a ton of damage and win with most of them. Um 
you if you go in with a roster the size I'm showing, I would say expect to see a lot of Z Austin in this slot right here where I have Kane. You'll probably see a lot of him. Um, uh, lane bonus doesn't help him. If you see a lot of him, he's probably not going to um, be in a roster where they're completing a lot of the lanes. I mean, you know, if you're going in with a 45,000, that means, you know, you're not filling the middle one or the top one. You're just filling the bottom one. So if you're just filling the bottom one, you know, you might see some zombie Austin, but uh, I don't think you're going to it's going to be a very good one if that makes sense so but you should plan on a way to defeat him to beat him have a turn one guy um you know you potentially could bring your own zombie austin not a fan of that it's slow um it takes a while he's good you're not going to lose hit points but he's slow and remember with feud speed is key so uh, keep that in mind um, potentially you could see a lot of him there's also um a lot of other ways you could go with this lane bonus you could go with anvil anvil is going to be really nasty because of if you can fill it this is if you can fill it because of the multi-gem um perk and stuff where i have andrade if you had harper you could run harper harper would be really dirty with this line bonus um also where i have vince um, you can run Anvil. You'll probably see a lot of NWO Hitman. He can generate multi gems, so he's gonna be really good. Most of you have him, um, but a lot of you probably don't have Sako. Uh, so if you don't have Sako, then these guys don't really matter because you're not getting the lane bonus. So um, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, again, if you can't fill a lane bonus, I would only take three guys into this feud, or you're probably in for a rough run. Um, but guys that take advantage, you know, your your Ricochets, your Andrades, your um, Triple H, Masters of the Universe, Luke Harper. Um, then you're gonna have your um, your Anvils. Um, you'll see some of those, your NWO hearts. Um, interestingly enough, Sako's the required guy to fill this lane, and the lane bonus does nothing for him, but um, he's got bleed, so it doesn't really matter. Um, see if I'm missing anyone that I can think of right off. I'm sure I'm forgetting someone, so. But those are the big uh, multi gem guys. Technically, Godfather. Um, has a some multi gems where you can put it on his loot gems, so maybe potentially a little bit more, but eh, you know, I don't think it's it's that big a deal. Where, um, so yeah, um, that's probably most of what you'll see for this lane. Um, you can see I'm using Andrade for the lane bonus. That's kind of my goal there. I think he's worth it to add that extra guy. Um, because he's going to hit so hard. Not only are the multi-gems plus two more, um, they're also 200% more damage. So uh, I plan on using his black move set where um, you can make the eight times gem or something like that to start. So it's going to be ridiculously big, plus you're doubling the damage. Um, so that's how I'm going to run that line. Um, Vince is going to live here for me. You could bring whoever, but that's where I'm going to get a bunch of my wins. Um, any, any smaller guys I'll blow up with Vince. If they, I plan on running him if they, you know, with the double black MP trainer, um, to get turn one if I need to, but this could just as easily be someone else for me. Um, I could do any of these guys, and you could as well. Um, but again, mainly the multiply gem guys in here. Uh, I do expect you'll probably see a lot of zombie Austin. Uh, so maybe a guy like Six would be good there if you have trouble countering zombie Austin. You could go this route instead. Just make sure that your faction is not going for the faction milestones. Like, so even if you can't max it, 
the 12 million mark does have a million coins which is really nice for everyone in your faction so uh, communicate with your faction make sure your fat what your faction leaders want you to do um, again this first build is just talking about the lane bonuses and how to attack it from a solo uh, perspective now remember there is a 15,000 point uh, for winning a unique battle with a superstar so you don't just want to go in with one guy and win with that guy ideally you will be able to win with everyone that you bring that's going to give you max amount of points and there is going to be bonus superstars as well um, I believe uh, and I think those are Sako, uh, Million Dollar Corporation, Hall of Fame, Godfather NWO and uh, the Breeze Dango tag link, so Breeze or Dango. Um, you'll get some additional bonus points for those guys, it looks like. We'll know more when the event starts, but um, I'm going to use Sako for that. I'm not going to go bigger for the other ones. Um, I'll get more points just winning with each individual guy and winning quickly. Again, to recap, well, I'll do that at the end. Top line bonus, um, going to be... You need Godfather. A lot of people got him from the event, so probably see a decent amount of this one filled. Uh, if you can fill this one, Godfather, with one of your multi-gem guys, uh, Andrade, Masters of the Universe, Triple H would be really, really good. Um, and then um, Ricochet would be would be solid up there. If you don't have those guys, um, Jeff Hardy and Tozawa are other possible ones. If you have Godfather, that wouldn't be bad. Um, this one you're going to refill your moves quite easy and you're going to generate uh, more uh, multiply gems so pretty solid um, lane bonus I don't think it's as nearly as strong as the bottom one but still pretty good um, so that kind of covers the top row not a lot to say like i said jeff um also down here too you could potentially use uh jeff and tozawa too um jeff should hit pretty decently so if for some reason you have Sako and you don't have one of the other you know the andrade ricochet um mash of the universe triple h you could throw jeff in there and, and he would be solid too um so yeah, I think that pretty much covers the first portion where we're talking about trying to score max points. So a recap, you're going to want to go in with a roster size appropriate to your perks. Don't go in and max everything out unless you're going, you know, balls to the walls with your perks. Make sure while you're feuding, you're paying attention. Are you consistently faster than your teammate? Good. Are you consistently slow or bad? You need to change something. Uh, look at the scores that you're generating hit that stats button see how many points you're getting see how many points the guy across from you and the other team is getting if you're consistently scoring less points you're doing it wrong you should consistently be scoring more points because the player is always better than the AI um, so you know you should easily do more points um, most people won't set their rosters up right so yes well he's playing against you it's not the AI but um, you need to be faster and better and better prepared or you're just giving away points for your faction so focus on those two things and adjust and get get to be a better feuder don't just go in there stupidly communicate with your line mates if you do that stuff you'll find your feud goes way faster you get way more milestones um, find a feud buddy queue with them I do that a lot it makes it a lot more fun if you got a friend in the game queue up with them you know get that chatter going swap out if you can't beat a guy you know all that good stuff um, if your faction is going for the bonus wins we'll kind of cover um, that how I would approach that now and I would say for that you're gonna want to go three and no more than three you're gonna want to pick your best of the three to focus on for me it's Vince a lot of easy wins there I'm I'm all I also would bring my IRS because he's basically fodder um, and get a lot of wins with him without jumping my talent too high so basically you know you want to stay low enough that you don't attract guys you can't beat 
So I probably would also bring Godfather because he um, can punch way above his weight um, in this case. So this would give me three individual guys that I can also win with. I'll take the easy ones with the uh, IRS. Um, Vince will take his guy. He can be turn one using dual MP trainer. And then Godfather can clean up a middle guy potentially more because his finisher is going to hit for at least 100k. So I might go in with something like this, um, get my bonus points for my wins, and also get the 15,000 points for using a different guy. Um, so that's potentially what you could do, something like that. Um, if Million Dollar Man is your best guy, go ahead and use Ted. And then get as much fodder in there as you can. Um, because you're not going to have to face hard guys. So... For me, I don't have a lot of fodder left these days because of talent ups. So I have to sometimes get creative and kind of look around and see, hey, where's the lowest guy I can bring? Um, so here I could go this route. And then Hall of Fame, I don't have anyone low. I don't know why I'm looking there. So yeah, for me, the lowest I could bring would be this. Um, and probably what honestly I would do, odds of me seeing a really high guy I couldn't deal with going in at 14K is very slim. Mostly I'm going to get a bunch of three-star silvers and stuff like that or other people doing the same thing as me. Um, so this kind of setup is what I would recommend. You can still actually, because you're winning so fast, score a bunch of solo points. Most likely I'll start out like this. I have a few, uh, buddy, we're both going to go in low, um, and we're just going to win fast. There'll be like five minute matches, probably maybe less. Um, so we'll go in like this, get our, get our bonus wins, score a bunch of points. Cause I'll have IRS beat someone. Um, and Vince beat someone, so I'm going to get like 40, 50,000 points each run. It'll be fast for the solo. Um, so I'd recommend something like this. Ideally, this spot here, you'd be able to bring complete fodder. I can't, so, you know, yours should be seven, 800. You know, uh, IRS in this range won't hurt you, but set up the trainers right for Vince and IRS so you can get easy, fast wins and get the bonus points. Um, so I would say if your faction is going to go for it, this is kind of the style you want to run. Uh, potentially, you know, maybe a million dollar man is your best. You could run him instead, put fodder wherever you can, whatever lane gives you the lowest ones. I would take Vince out of this. Um, and not I'd, this spot would be empty, you know, and then I'd put Seamus or something in here and no, no Ted there. So that kind of thing. Um, the reason why you don't want to take like a bunch of high guys. Now, if I took NWO Ted, if I took Vince and I took IRS, that would be like 21 K roster. And I don't have a guy over nine K good chance that I'll get some rosters. I can't deal with. I might even see a zombie Austin that I can't deal with. So you don't want to do that. Take your, your fodder guys in with one big guy and go to town. Uh, potentially, like I said, three, three to four K IRS won't hurt you. Uh, so you can get those bonus wins, but yeah, that's kind of how I'd go after it guys. Um, if you have any questions, please leave comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you think, uh, if you think this is a good way of attacking the feud, bad way, if I missed a guy, leave comments. I love you guys' feedback. Um, also I'm thinking about trying to get normal things I do for my channel on certain days. Obviously the feud preps kind of become a thing. Event breakdowns have become a thing for me. I'd like to get some more things. Um, the podcast that I do um, with Dr. Sparks is a normal thing. Uh, so I'm kind of thinking about other stuff I could do. If there's something you guys would like to see on a regular basis, something you feel like is missing from the champions YouTube thing, let me know in the comments. I'd be very interested to hear um, thinking about getting a webcam, is that something you guys would like? Me using a webcam, um, also potentially doing a one show a week where I talk about real wrestling. Um, 
you know, maybe like a 10 to 20 minute type show where I talk about Raw, SmackDown, that kind of thing, maybe NXT. Love to hear you guys' thoughts. Anyway, I hope you find this video helpful. I hope you guys have a great feud. Uh, if you would, like, subscribe, and share. Really trying to grow this channel. Uh, it's been growing pretty well. Appreciate everyone's support. Um, but good luck out there this weekend in feud, guys. <laughs>